Hello and welcome to Prego Coding Classes. This is Amber Roy. In the previous video, you have seen how to code the login activity. Now in this video, we'll continue coding the register user activity. You're watching part four of the basic chat application video without wasting any time. Let's get started. So before starting everything, let me just show you my Firebase database and authentication and everything. My authentication has been set up. The sign-in providers like email password has been enabled. Google has been enabled. The Facebook has not been enabled yet because I need the secret key for this. So I don't have it now. I'll set up that later. So for now, the authentication has been set up. The database has been set up. The storage has been set up. So this is the preliminary setup that we need to start the project. I have set up this all. So let's continue with coding right now. So to ease everything out, we need to initialize the references in a separate method. So that becomes easy afterwards. So private void references. And uh, underneath this, we need the first reference as the user database reference where all the details of the user will be uploaded. So database reference, uh, my user ref equals firebase database dot get reference and we'll call it users and then we need a child the child would be our uh, user id the current user id so firebase auth dot get current user dot get uid and then we can put all the details underneath, like every time I do it. So underneath this, we need another reference for the storage. So storage reference, we'll call it my user storage ref. And then Firebase storage dot get reference. Then uh, we'll say users as well and then we'll use a child of profile pic and then we can show the profile pic underneath or we can store the profile pic underneath so that's it and what are the reference we need we don't need any other references so let's create a java class to upload all the user data so right click in here, new Java class, and we'll call this class upload user data class. Let's hit OK. Underneath this, we need the public variables. So public, we'll say public string. First one we'll use is the first name. So first name, last name, then uh, date of birth. And then we'll use the profile pick URL. Now, I'll use the URL because we'll be getting the URL from Facebook and Google itself. So we can fetch the URL from the storage reference itself so that everything comes into the same database and we can sort it out the same way. And now what we'll need is to switch off our numlock, then uh, Alt-0. Then uh, we'll create a constructor. We'll press control and click the first name. Hit OK. This is the empty constructor. And then we need the real constructor for this. So constructor will select everything and hit OK. And now we need the getter and setter. So Alt 0, getters and setters. So shift, then click the bottom one so it gets selected. Everything gets selected rather. So hit OK and the getters and setters are here. 
So let's close this. We'll use this while uploading. Now let's uh, call the reference method over here after the cast components and the thing what you do next is get support action bar dot hide to hide the action bar on the top and we'll do the same in the main activity also uh, get support action bar dot hide now we will need some uh, boolean methods to check the first name last name um, email id password everything not the email id password or uh, rather the password only not the email id so private uh, boolean check first name string first name and then we'll check uh, whether the first name is correct or not so if first name is uh, or rather let's uh, check the incorrect things first so dot equals nothing and first name dot length is less than 2. So we can say return false, else return true. So we'll need another one. The same thing for the last name also. Last name, string, last name. We'll check if the last name is not empty and the last name's length is not less than two. So we'll do the same. Now what we can check is the password so we'll do the same over here also check uh, password we'll say string password over here we'll say password and uh, password so we need the password length to be minimum eight digits so we'll write here eight and uh, that's it so we can check the first name last name and password now what we need to do is check if the image view is loaded or not so we'll write here private string profile pic status and the beginning will say the profile pic status equals nothing and uh, over here we'll say private boolean check profile pick status string status and we'll say here if profile pick status dot equals Let's see what we have written. We have written nothing. So we'll say nothing. Then we can say return false. Else 
return true. And these are the checking methods where we'll check everything. So now let's continue with uploading the user data. Okay, next thing what we can work on is the date of birth field. So let's go to activity register user XML first and let the design tab load. Okay, now let's scroll down and hit the date of birth edit text. Now over here, you make two changes. That is, focusable is false and enabled is true. So these are the two changes that you make before anything else, because I don't need the user to write in that field. Rather, click and select the date of birth. And in the main activity, it's OK. So let's close this one. And. Uh, in the register user activity dot Java, let's implement the date pick a dialog dot on date set listener. It will show a red line an error. So we'll all enter over here and implement methods. So the one method that will implement is on date set. So set OK. And uh, over here in the on in the on create, we'll give an on click listener on the date of birth edit text new view on click listener. Now int day equals one int month equals one int year equals let's give it 1990 and if you don't know what I'm doing here check out my date picker dialog video so I'm doing it a little simpler way date picker dialog date picker dialog equals new date picker dialog and we'll say um, register user activity dot this comma Let's just press enter over here. Register user activity dot this comma. Now this is the context and this is a listener. So we'll write here year, month, and day. As you can see here, a listener is listed over here. A context is list listed over here. And we'll just show the date picker dialog. And that's it. So in the on date set listener, over here we'll say month equals month plus one. And the DOB text field will set text day of the month plus plus month plus plus year you can do anyhow you want you can put the year at first and day at the last so that depends on you only okay so that's it let's continue this video in part five follow me on twitter on my twitter handle that is at coding prego which is given in the description box down below and if you want to support this channel with any sort of donations of any amount the donation links are also given in the description box do check them out. So thank you. See you all in the next video. Bye-bye. If you have liked the video, hit the like button, then the subscribe button, and then the bell icon.